So despite the company's best efforts to keep an ad quiet amid the Bud Light boycott, a Miller Lite commercial published for Women's History Month back in March has lately emerged and gone viral. Will Miller Lite join the ranks of Go Woke, Go Broke beers or not? Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Folks, this is a huge win for conservative and patriot consumers who are sick and tired of the wokeness being injected into their world. They never asked for it, they don't want it, and they are tired of people shoving it down their throats. And it looks like with the backlash of Bud Light and now Miller Light, the red state people in this country have finally figured out how to fight back and win. Here is the commercial that Miller Lite did not pull down, unbelievably, after the unmitigated disaster of Bud Light that caused a boycott on that company where they're losing upwards to 25% per month in revenues. Give it a watch. Here's a little known fact. Women were among the very first to brew beer ever. From Mesopotamia to the Middle Ages to colonial America, women were the ones doing the brewing. Centuries later, how did the industry pay homage to the founding mothers of beer? They put us in bikinis. Wow. Look at this shit. Wild. It's time beer made it up to women. So today, Miller Lite is on a mission to clean up not just their shit, but the whole beer industry's shit. Miller Lite has been scouring the internet for all this shit and buying it back so that they can turn it into good shit for women brewers. Literally, good shit. How you ask? Ladies, take it away. First, we turn the bad shit into compost. Then we feed compost to worms. Push out beautiful fertilizer. That good shit helps farmers grow quality hops, which is then donated to women brewers to make their own really good shit. But there's definitely more shit out there. In your attic, in the garage, in your parents' basement. Send any shit you got into Miller Lite and they'll turn that into good shit too. Oh. So here's to women, because without us, there would be no beer. Now, granted, this was created before the Bud Light train wreck. But you would think that the makers of Miller Lite would have the brain power to take this ad down off the site and social media. But they didn't. And now it's been discovered. And in no time at all, the video went viral, more so than its original airing. I mean, from what I'm reading and hearing, nobody gave a damn about the commercial at the time. But now, after the fallout of the Bud Light devastation, Miller Lite is now getting poured down the drain by a large number of consumers. Now, in case you think the spokeswoman who did the commercial for Miller Lite was just a starving actress trying to earn some money, here's a video of her on the Stephen Colbert show where she praises Colbert for being a model white male in a condescending way. Give it a watch. Since we've been watching all this, you yeah. know, fake news and whatever, real news and the president, I, and uh, anticipating coming here tonight, I have been thinking, Stephen, that you are a really um, model white man. You're a, a really... Well, I, I am the picture in the dictionary next to white man, I think. <laughs> You're... They don't get much whiter than me. You are the good version of one because almost our president is almost like the number one white guy that, you know, in America because he's the president. But I'm also yeah. like, oh, so Stephen Colbert is. You've just been um, revealing yourself to us over the years in the way. I've been watching Strangers with Candy lately uh -huh. and uh, you've just been revealing yourself. In I can't take any more of that. Now, the backlash on Twitter was strong. Michael Seifert, who was the founder of Public Square, put out a tweet saying, Miller Lite thinks women are fragile victims. Bud Light doesn't know what a woman is. Is it too much to ask to just brew beer instead of meeting your ESG requirements? Do tell. Ali London put out a tweet with a photo of a babe in a Miller Lite commercial in a bikini and the I hate all men actress in the latest debacle commercial by Miller Lite. And he said, pre woke on the left and after woke on the right, which do you prefer? 
Host of Dear America podcast, Graham Allen, tweeted out, Did nobody learn from Bud Light's costly mistake? Miller Lite just dropped this woke advertisement. When will these beer companies learn? When indeed. Charlie Kirk, the founder of Turning Point USA, said, Apparently what passes for wisdom in American marketing departments is we'll go woke, but we'll say shit a lot so that our customers will like it. Miller Lite is owned by Coors. You know what to do. (laughs) So the good news is, Patriots, you have won. This kind of backlash has caused Miller Lite to pull the ad. Post Millennial put out a piece headlined, Miller Lite scrubs woke feminist advertisement from social media after backlash. So you have to ask yourself the question, after the Bud Light fiasco, why on God's blue and green earth would these morons at Miller Lite keep that ad online on social media platforms for the public to see. I said this before, and I'll say it again, for this case with Miller Lite. The problem is not the product. The problem is not the hardworking people who make the product. The problem for these woke corporations is found in the executive suites, where there is a disconnect between woke executives and the American people. Many of these big woke companies are in blue states or in blue cities. And because they live in a bubble of wokeness in these small centers of leftist mental illness, they have lost touch with their own consumers. For years, liberals online would threaten boycotts and the executives worried about it affecting their bottom line, not realizing that it was probably less than a half dozen people threatening the boycott. They should have learned this, when the woke tried to boycott Chick-fil-A and enough Christians and conservatives showed up at those boycotts and turned them into boycotts. The people stuck around and purchased Chick-fil-A products until there was none left. That's when the corporations should have learned the power of their own consumers over the leftist threats of a boycott. And now the people have learned how to fight back, and that is with their purchasing power. The left has done this for years, but the left is a very tiny minority compared to the consumers of beer company brands. And I can safely predict that this type of blowback will spread out to other woke companies and woke products because the American people are sick and tired of it. The lesson to be learned here by woke corporate executives, especially in the wake of the Bud Light disaster and now the Miller Light disaster, is that red state Americans have learned how to fight back. And they're fighting back. And if these woke executives have an ounce of brains in their heads, they will give up this woke nonsense and get back to serving their consumer base and only worrying about making a superior product for them. All right. Well, thank you for watching this video. If you want to support the channel, visit rpwmedia.com, sign up for our newsletter, read all of our stories, and share them with like-minded friends. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and give us a like. We'll see you in the next one. Laughed at the mall, cause your mama forgot how it hurts.